Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So the used car market these days is absolutely mental. I've seen 20 year old Ford Fiestas with 130,000 miles go for over a thousand pounds, which is absolutely insane. So I snagged this 2006 Mini Cooper R50 for 875 pounds. So what did I get for my money? Good question. Well, let's talk about how it drives first. So, I mean, the engine's sweet as a nut. Um, pulls in every gear. The clutch is sweet. It's a little bit heavy, but I believe that's a mini treat. Uh, the engine, though, is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. The suspension's tight. Drives real nice. The steering is quite heavy when I'm going at a slow speed or when I'm stationary. So probably going to need some power steering fluid at some point. A few days after I got the car, it turned out that the master brake cylinder is probably on the way out as the brakes are quite spongy. And on top of that, there's definitely an oil leak. Now these old Mini Coopers are known for oil leaks and water leaks and pretty much leaking anything. I also managed to get a nice chip in the windscreen a few days after I bought the car as well, which is just marvellous. And to top it off, the car came with a puncture. So, so far, you know, I suppose 375 could have not too bad. Now, this car also came with four and a half months MOT. Now, body work wise, it's not actually that bad. There are no dents, which is good for a car this age, and there's no lacquer peel. And these Mini Coopers suffered with lacquer peel, so I'm quite happy about that. Rust wise, we've got a little bit of rust around one of the rear tail lights, which again is a common issue with these Mini R50s. Now it's only a small amount and it can be treated. Now there are quite a few scratches around the car, some of which I will touch in with a touch up pen or maybe mask up and do a small respray. But there are also some parts where the paint has come completely away from the metal, such as the edges of the doors. It's obviously been pranged a few times in a car park. One thing I love about this car, guys, is it feels like you're going a million miles an hour even when you're not, so we're dropping into third. And that feels quick, but we're not really catching on traffic. Into fifth. This issue with the bodywork has got to be the bonnet. Now, it's obviously had quite a few stone chips, so it's done quite a bit of motorway mileage, I'd imagine. And the stone chips haven't been treated, and a small amount of rust has got in. So that's going to need sanding all the way back and having a full respray, which I'm not going to attempt myself. I'm going to take it to a friend of mine and uh, he can sort it for me. It's probably going to be around 150 quid to get done, but I think it's money worth spending. So the interior is actually in pretty good condition. Uh, even the leather, you know, probably be restored quite well, but the car is quite dirty, so it needs a good hoover. All these seats, the middle part of the seat here is like, is it called Alcantara or something? Or fabric, I can't remember. It needs a really good clean. Uh, but otherwise, all the switches work and everything, so the inside's pretty decent. The dirtiest part of the car is definitely the boot. It's like this car's been used as some kind of van. Let's fold these rear seats down. Look at that. That is disgusting. So the first job I'm going to tackle with this car is definitely going to be giving it a good clean and hoover inside and out. So, should you buy a cheap Mini Cooper R50? Well, I'd say go for it. Just be prepared. You're going to have to spend a bit of time and money on the car to make it nice. You could probably get one for about between 1500 quid and two grand that's ready to go with no issues. But you could probably buy one like this cheaper and spend a little bit of money on it and make it as nice. So, I suppose it depends on yourself, really. I've got a big job list with this car. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a good clean and tidy and polish and hoover, which I'm going to try and do this weekend. I've got to fit a aerial because it hasn't got an aerial at all i've just ordered actually a five pound 29 beasting aerial we'll see how that works out and then i'm going to order what i'm going to order next so a bluetooth adapter so i can play me spotify from my phone through the car stereo now i'll do a youtube video on that it's really it's one i'm gonna buy is really cheap it's about five or six pounds it could be terrible it could work i don't know but i'll make a video about that one um, I've got some body work to do, some of that I'll do myself and I'll make videos out of it, some of it I'll get professionals to do which I won't make a video out of. What else are we going to do? It's going in for the brakes in a couple of weeks time. Oil leaks I'll probably get a mechanic to fix, along with some fresh oil and a fresh oil filter. Then I'm going to replace all the coolants which I'll do myself, I won't make a video out of that, it's a bit of a nothing job. I'm going to fix the remote central locking which I will make a video out of, because that is tricky. 
And then we're going to get onto the modifications. So we're going to be doing spotlights. Cause definitely want spotlights on this car. I'll definitely make a video out of that. That's going to be a cool little video and a cool little upgrade. I'm going to be fitting a Piper Cross air filter. I might go for a K&N, but I'll probably go for a Piper Cross. They're around £35. I've had Piper Cross air filters on my bikes before now, and I've really liked them. So I'll definitely make a video out of that as well. Uh, I'm going to be replacing the spark plug, so I'm making a video out of that. That's a real basic thing to do. Of course, I'm going to be fitting some Go Faster stripes, because they had at least 20 horsepower. <laughs> but I'm not sure whether I'll put them on the bonnet or put them on the side of the car. I'll also be either spraying these wing mirror covers white or putting a cover onto them which you can buy off ebay for around 30 40 quid i've not decided which way to go with that yet but either way plenty to be cracking on with this car there'll be lots of videos about this car so if you want to see those videos make sure you hit subscribe guys as always thanks for watching see you next time